Thank you for joining me. I would like to talk about Procter & Gamble. And what they do is they make beauty products and hygiene products and other products, mostly cosmetics, some other stuff. And uh, somehow they owned Pringles and sold them to Kellogg's because reasons. Now, currently, market, uh, currently the price is $120 per share, which gives the mar market cap of $300 billion and a PE of 84. Now, I think I should move the PE to the earnings something. Anyway, uh, dividend yield 2.46% with a payout ratio of 203%, which is kind of a problem, especially for me, because that is just way too high. Revenue $67 billion, which is up slightly. Earnings $9.5 billion, which is down a lot. And um, that's where I probably should put the PE because reasons. Now, total assets $115 billion, which is down slightly. Total liability $68 billion, which is up slightly. And total stockholders equity of $47 billion, which is down quite significantly. Um, obviously mostly because of the pay uh, the dividend that they really couldn't be couldn't afford to be paying so um to sum that all up obviously they have enough of equity to be paying a payout ratio of 200 percent for quite a while i also don't think that they need to deal with that at this point. I think they can write it out until their um, earnings are significantly more um, profitable. So to sum that all up, I don't think that uh, growth investors really want to buy the stock. I don't think value investors really would want to deal with a PE of 84 or since the EBITDA was actually pretty consistent over the past three, four years. Um, still, that would give them a PE of about 60. And um, I don't think that 60 is really a good stock to buy either. So I don't think that a value investor would want to buy a stock with a PE of 60 or currently 84 based on the most recent numbers. So as far as dividend investors go, I don't think the dividend yield of 2.46% is really that enticing, especially with a 200% payout ratio and a balance sheet that is getting worse. So in short, I do not recommend anyone buy this stock at this time for many reasons. And um, I guess we're just going to look at what the price is and what the earnings are um, in a couple quarters, maybe in a couple years, uh, depending on whether or not they can figure out where they're going wrong and how to grow their earnings to where they were and how to not have a payout ratio of over 200%. So in short, don't buy the stock and uh, stay tuned to maybe in a couple years to where we look at the stock again and see if it's a buy then. If you like this video and you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I'm coming out with more videos every day before market open. I hope you have a successful day.